Hi. I'm so excited to be able to read a story to you today. When I look at the picture on the cover of this story, I'm guessing that the story might be about a large oak tree. The story is called, What Can You Do? Written by Anne Hearth. The tall oak tree was quiet. He felt the light wind in his leaves. He felt the breeze flow into the hole in his trunk. Look at me, Riley Rabbit said. I can jump a million times. I never get tired. Riley patted the tree. What can you do? The oak tree was silent. I wonder what the oak tree is thinking in this story. Look at me, Stella Squirrel squeaked. I can leap through the branches. I never fall down. Stella peeked into the hole in the tree's trunk. What can you do? The oak tree was silent. Interesting that Stella Squirrel peeked into the hole of this oak tree. I wonder what the oak tree can do. Look at me, Brady Bird sang. I can fly high and low. I can travel for miles. Brady pecked a bug from the bark of the tree. What can you do? And the oak tree was silent. The light wind grew stronger. Rain fell from the sky. Riley, Stella, and Brady were wet and cold. I wonder if there's something that the oak tree can do to help these animals. Can you think of something the oak tree can do? The oak tree spoke. It is warm and dry in my trunk. Come inside. The small animal scurried into the oak tree. It smelled sweet and the ground was soft. I cannot jump, the tree said sadly. I cannot leap. I cannot fly. But looking at this picture, I do think the oak tree can do something. Riley patted the inside of the warm tree trunk. No, but you can protect your friends. And that is the best thing of all. Sure enough, the oak tree was able to protect his friends from the rain, the wind, and the cold. So looking at some of these questions, I want you to ask yourself, what can the oak tree do? You're right, he can protect his friends from the wind, the rain, and the cold. What can Brady Bird do? Exactly, he can fly high and he can fly 
low. What can Riley Rabbit do? To go all the way back to the beginning of the story for this question. Yep, Riley Rabbit can jump a million times and never get tired. And the last question I want you to think about is, where does this story take place? Exactly. The story takes place in a forest. I hope you enjoyed this story. Have a great day.